Freaky Fest champions. There's only been three years of existence. We are the best. We've won it every single year. Um, we do a, it's a uh, Central New York legend around here, Chicken Riggies. And uh, it started in Utica, from what I understand. But uh, this little restaurant here in Rome is uh, taking over the ranks. And I'm going to show you how Teddy's does their Riggies today. And we'll start by um, heat up a pan here and start with a little garlic oil. You want to get that nice and hot. Now, I like my Riggies a little spicy personally, so I'm going to add some cherry peppers. And a little juice from the cherry peppers gives it some extra flavor. One of the things we do with our Riggies that um, I don't know, if, I really don't know what most other people do, but we use all fresh vegetables and chicken and all our vegetables are cut fresh and we start with a mixture of mushrooms, onions, olives and uh, green and red peppers and you start by putting those in our pan. And always important to do a little salt and pepper, a little, a little extra flavor. Ricky's have become so popular with the, at the restaurant here at Teddy's that we do, you know, we're doing anywhere from 90 to 100 orders a night on a Friday or Saturday and uh, during the week it's not much less than that and this section gets very busy along with the other dishes that we do here you always, you always are doing a bunch of riggies as well one thing I like to do in order not to burn a little at the bottom of the pan is that I just put a little stock in there as well what we're going to do is we're going to allow this to cook and you want your vegetables to cook down to the very tender you don't want them too hard, but you don't want them too soft either. And you want your mushrooms mushy. As, as popular as the Riggy is this year, Rachel Ray even mentioned the Riggy Fest on her on her show, and she did her version of Chicken Riggies on 30 Minute Meals, and she's becoming larger than life, you know, Rachel Ray, and to, and to get Riggies out there nationally, hey, it, it's a, that's all it takes. And she's from the Albany area, I think from what, Lake George area, from what I understand, so yeah, so she's familiar with it. And, you know, each year the Riggy Fest has gotten bigger and bigger, so I definitely could see you selling Riggy sauce elsewhere. A couple different variations on the chicken Riggies. We do them with uh, steak as well, and we also do them with sausage. And um, to be perfectly honest with you, the sausage Riggies now become my favorite. Uh, this, uh, the sausage adds such a great flavor to the Riggy. And, and to our sauce. We actually even did it with salmon once, and that was sold pretty good. Very versatile sauce. It goes with every. It goes with. Goes with a lot. After your vegetables are cooked a little bit, I, I like to add the chicken. You're starting to see a little browning on the on the uh, bottom of the pan. That's just from the uh, from the vegetables and your a uh, little bit from the chicken and the heat. And what we're going to do is a lot of good flavor in there. So once we let this cook a little, the next step I'm going to do is take a little about a, a two ounces, two three ounces of white wine. I'm going to deglaze. You let that cook down, and it makes for um, adds a little more flavor to the riggy dish. Now with the steak and the sausage, we deglaze with red wine, and the salmon we we did with uh, white wine. But uh, with the chicken in the white meat, we're going to go with some white wine. Like I said, about three ounces. Teddy's famous riggy sauce, which I can't tell you what's in it. Everything nice and hot. Passed out. Imagine doing this 100 times a night. The record is though 136, 146 riggies one night we did. Toss it with our sauce. We'll get you a nice little look at that. Beautiful color. That's the Teddy's chicken rig right there. It's a great dish. Little twist on uh, Italian American cuisine.